Let's talk about mashed potatoes. Okay, I used about mm, two thirds of a bag of Yukon Gold potatoes. Those are the best kind to use, unless you prefer the red potatoes. I used about half an onion, a decent sized onion. It is already diced. I used six tablespoons of butter. Next, I'm going to be putting in minced garlic. I used six tablespoons of seasoning, butter. the garlic and onion with salt and pepper. You're going to add whole milk. Um, I add about a half a cup. Uh, if you have more potatoes, add more, maybe about three quarters of a cup. Then you're gonna wait for the milk to get frothy. I will show you what that looks like in this a bit. This is what the onions look like translucent. Since I do not have whole milk, I am adding 2% and half and half. Use what you got. So that is my 2%. This is my half and half. I'm a big believer in use what you got. This is my half and half going in. Yes, I don't measure. I measure with baking. I do not measure with cooking as much. Okay, so we are gonna wait for this to get frothy. So I'm raising, bleh, raising the temperature. This is when I'm going to be adding even more seasoning. Stir it slowly so it doesn't get all over the sides unless you have a deeper pan. I have now drained the potatoes. Good trick I learned is an electric hand beater. So once this is done, I'm gonna add the liquid to the potatoes, but this needs to get nice and frothy. So we will get there. Takes a couple of minutes. It is now bubbling up. The butter and the milk are separating a bit. This is what I call getting frothy. Lower this. I only want to cook this now for another minute, minute and a half longer. I already seasoned it some more with a little bit more salt and pepper. So I seasoned it about one or two times during the butter and another time more with the milk. So lots of seasoning going on. And then I will add the milk mixture to the potatoes. So scrape the sides. going to shut this off and pour this into whoop into my potatoes then I am going to get my mixer and I say ah hand mixer I mean this this is what I am using okay so I've been mixing for about three to five minutes. I used a spatula. Didn't think you guys wanted to hear all that noise. I used a towel 
over it so I didn't splatter myself too much. It is a little bit messy. Um, but most of the lumps are all gone. I tried to stir it to make sure most of the lumps were gone. And that is my mashed potatoes. I got the recipe from my husband's uh, sister. So there are our family's mashed potatoes. That's it.